Welcome back to the Amuna series, lesson number three. Thanks for tuning in. So if you were not really listening to the first two lessons or you just um, spacing out, checking your Instagram, scrolling down through your Facebook, we're gonna explain what happened the first two lessons in under a minute. Basically, we said that we have the obligation, everyone, me and you too, we all have the obligation to search out and know God exists for ourselves. Number two, we basically said that if I take a piece of plastic, throw a couple of metal stuff on it, it's not possible that a piece of plastic when the metal thrown uh, thrown down will just mix up and create a cell phone. Not possible. And that's the disproof to the Big Bang Theory, how the world did not just boom, suddenly, yeah, what's up? We got a world, we got Olam, we have this amazing world with organisms and the human body and how everything works perfectly. It's not possible we disprove that theory. This time, what we're going to discuss is we're going to go back to Avram Avinu. And Avram, uh, some people say he was three years old. Other people say he was really 40 years old. And he looked around the world when he was a, when he was younger. And he saw the moon out all night. And he's like, wow, this moon, this is probably God. This is G-O-D. And he's like, I'm going to serve this moon. So he started to serve the moon. He started to bow down. However, when the morning came, what happened? Boom. Where, where, where'd the God go? Where, where'd the creator... The it's not the moon. And he realized that the sun was out. Wow, it's shining. It's like 88 degrees or, you know, he was in a Middle Eastern country. It was definitely hot over there. The sun was, was, was heating up the place. And he's like, this sun is the God. However, a couple hours into the day passed and little by little, the sun just went away. Sunset hit, boom, and the sun was gone. So he said, you know what? The moon came back and the stars were there. Maybe the stars. However, we know a couple of hours later, Little by little, Avram started to narrow down his search and realize it's not the sun, it's not the moon, it's not the stars, it's not the trees, it's not the galaxies, it's not all this. Rather, a higher power had to have created the world. What else could it be? He thought deeply about it and he realized that something that, uh, he realized something that was totally against conventional thinking of the time. These things could not have happened merely on their own. These things, the world, the bodies, galaxies, the sun, the moon, someone had to be behind it, create it. And he understood from there that there had to be a great power that created and continues to create and build the world every second. Right now, things are constantly being created. And there, there's no other um, life force in the world than God, G-O-D, that could have created that. There's a Midrash that compares this story that we just learned to a traveler who passes by a large lit up palace, massive palace. This place was like better than the White House, better than where the Queen of England stays. And he sees up, it's lit up, nice palace. And he says, is it possible that this palace does not have a person looking after it inside, making sure it's nice and continues the grass? Someone, is it possible that there's no one basically watching over it? The owner of the building looked out, looked over to the guy that said that and said, I'm the owner of the castle, me, I'm the guy. The traveler that passed by obviously is Avram Avinu. Avram looked around his beautiful world, seeing how the complex, intense world works. And he says, wow, is it possible that no one is running this world the day in, day out? Little things that happen in this world, the rain, the sun, the moon, the stars, the snow, a couple of months a year, but all the other things that happen in this world. It's not possible. It's not possible that anything could just go on its own. There has to be with a higher power, and that is Hashem, that is our God. God willing, we're going to continue this series and continue to learn and strengthen our amuna, strengthen our faith in God and knowing that He exists, proving He exists, and God willing, developing a, cr a closer, a better, and a stronger connection with Almighty.